I love music. <clears throat> I play music. Music takes me into a different realm when I play and when I play for persons or for myself. Uh, um, but I, I, I didn't re remember where I got the, the love of music from, right? Love of music came from that tenement yard. So the window, one of the windows in my, in our room, our box, the one, the window to the east, sits right at the edge of a dance hall named Gloria's Lawn, right? And um, all of the big DJs, King Stitts, who started this dance hall movement, you Roy. All of these guys would come back in the days and play right there. And I, and I recalled um, when the music is going on on a Friday night or a Saturday night. Believe me, it's blowing inside our house. It was loud. And, and, and figure this. Um, they start setting up from... From like four o'clock in the evening. It's not like nowadays, you know, the, the, the guys would come and just boom and it's done. Back in the days, sound systems start tuning up from like four o'clock. So the first thing that they put up would be a, a, a horn section. They put it in a tree. A breadfruit tree was close by and they put the horn in there. And they start playing the horn from like uh, four o'clock in the evening. The music start playing. There's a picture hanging on the wall. That kind of thing, right? And, and, and um... You know, horns start blowing. They, I, I forgot what kind of horns they. You can help me to tell me what those horns are, right? Um, and and that horn section would play like for two hours, and then then they would turn on you no know, the mid range section. So those are the boxes that sit on top of boxes, right? So the big um, uh, eighteen inch or sixteen inch speakers would have their own box. And then a 10 inch or 8 inch speaker would be on top of that, those boxes. That's the mid range, right? And those now would play for a couple of hours too. They would play music, still tuning up because dance now start until like 9, 10 o'clock at night. And we're hearing the music from that time, from 4 o'clock in the evening, all the way until 10 o'clock mid range and, and, um, and, uh, and top end, right? Top end would be the orange. And then at 10 o 9 o'clock or so, you hear boom, 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 boom. So the bass started to play. And man, that would shake down everything in our house. I mean, it didn't make sense we go to bed because the music was right there, right in our room. I mean, it's, to me, they could have extended the dance hall right inside of, inside of my room because that's, that's what it is. We, I lived right there. So every song that played every weekend was playing right there in my ears. Today, when I play music today, I can sing every song I play from 1960 all the way up until like 1980. I can play every song that I play. I'm not talking about reggae music alone. I'm talking about all these slow songs. Songs from in the 50s. Because they played them in those dance halls. All right, and so um, I, 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 music is like it, it's 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 in my bones, and it started right there, but it didn't. That wasn't the only place, because the Lawses, Mister Laws, they call him Benjamin Laws, had his own sound system that would set up inside the yard on a Sunday to blow out his forty fives and, and and his LPs. All right, and so. Um, music on a Sunday, you would hear him playing some soft soul music. And you get to come to love and understand. And, and, and it's like music just become, became a part of me. Uh, back in the day, in the 1979, 77, 78, 79, I got to becoming a part of a sound system that was, 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 was playing 
and 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 um I wasn't the main DJ, but they gave me the play, and that was good for me at, at the time. You know, guys like Busby were, was the main main uh, act. And so, you know, to be a, a DJ in the 70s was a big thing. <laughs> you're, you're, a, you're, you're a star. You know, everybody knows about you on the North Coast. But, but Lazi himself had... The, the, the quality music, he had a big box. Well, it wasn't that big. It was about this this big, right? And that box now had 45s in it. And he could just flip through 45s in, in their cases. He could just flip through the cases and pick out the songs. And I mean, you watch him play and it was just beauty. A long time, Jamaicans loved the music, you know. Long, 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 long time. So the dance hall was right there in my ears all day long, and I, I and it is no 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 um it's, it's 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 just music just became part and parcel of my life, and I love playing music, and it's all because that Gloria dance hall. Now then, Gloria dance hall, no arrows bamboo lounge or bamboo lawn, we're. All of these big songs across Jamaica would go and play in recent days, but that's 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 the that's the the, the, the beauty of music comes out, um, and 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 you know, back in the days in the sixties it was it was ska, right, and rock steady sixties ska, and rock steady, and those were the hip songs of the day, the hip music of the day, ska. Rocks today. Then you, there, there, there's some some mento that you also have. Also, uh, mento turn into ska, ska turn into rock steady, and and um, and in the early seventies, then we start hearing how the rock steady started to turn into reggae music and so forth. So, but all of that stuck in my head. And as a child, when you hear music, if you love it, you write it down. You write the lyrics down. I, I remember the first. Um, recorder, um, what they call it, a turntable that that we we got in in our house. It was like 1967, 68. We had a turntable. My daddy bought a turntable. It was a small box, one one turntable, and then he would bring um, 45s home. Man, um, you know. Let me describe the, the, the third table. It's also a radio, okay? It's a it's a square thing, and it has a plastic um, covering on it, so you can just flip off the covering, put it down, and then you have the needle that you just move and play. It it, it had two things. It had a, it had two two um, speeds: the seventy eight and the forty five. Was it no? It was seventy. Yeah, it was. Three. It was 33, 78, and 45. It was three speeds. Right? We never used the 78, but the 33 was for LPs, um, albums, big albums with more than one songs. And then, and then, um, then you had the 45s where you can play, flip the, you know, the, the first part of it is is the is the, uh, the the song with the lyrics, and then you flip it over. Is the version no lyrics? You know, you, you they call it a version, right? It's instrumental, right? And so, in fact, that version is what the the, the old time uh, the DJs, what they call um, toasters back in the day, toasters. So when you used to p s s sing or speak on the on the on the version you were called a toaster so you could toast <laughs> toast the music all right so so um kin stitch was a toaster uh Uroy was a toaster it, it turned into dj later on but it was it was toasting um, where are you to the ball and, you know that kind of thing it was a, that was toasting and so um so i i remember having our first uh uh um uh recorder uh, sorry, um, turntable or first turntable, and I remember my sister Sharon would kill Tom Jones. Tom, oh my God, she would take Tom Jones and Engelbert Umperdink, you know, 
those two guys sounded alike. I, I think Uncle Bird Rumbling is, is an English singer also. But she would have the album and she would play it over and she take the uh, uh, Engelbert and, and if she played it over and over and then she would write the she had an exercise book where she would write the songs the the lyrics of the songs in if if Tom Jones was close by my sister would have gotten married to her to him uh, believe me okay she would have steal him like you know she would have stolen him like like really quickly uh, but she because she learned his songs I learned his songs I love Tom Jones now you know. Now she's a lady. Whoa, 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 she's... I've, never, I've not heard that song in a long time, though. Talking about a little lady, and the lady is mine. <laughs> yes, uh, so that she she loved Tom Jones. So I learned all of Tom Jones' early songs, the 60s songs, right there from Sharon. Uh, she loved her music. And then, um, and so music was like the big part of my growing up. Even in the, in the heart of the roughest time that I can't recall that it was rough, um, the roughest time, music was always there. So music also, we had RJR and JBC that you listen to music uh, on a Sunday. They had, you know, there was a song called, I've not heard it in a long time. I, gotta, I have to find it. It's called Elizabeth Serenade on a Sunday afternoon. Who remembers Elizabeth Serenade? That's a song. It's instrumental. I don't remember it. I, I got to remember to play that on Sunday if I find it. If I don't find it, I'm going to go purchase it. But Elizabeth Serenade was a Sunday afternoon song. And, um, and, I, and I remember. Any, anybody remembers Elizabeth Serenade? You can tell me about it, okay? <laughs> All right, so that's how my the the, the music um, in me popped up. Um, I, I I I remember clearly now how music became a part of who I am, and it's it's built out very nicely because I love it. All right, so that's not on a segment of me. All right, thank you so much, and uh, you know you can always find me on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, or any one of the social media. My, my name is Leo Gilling. I have to remember that to do this, to do this every time at the end of each of the of the videos. Leo Gilling, L-E-O-G-I-L-L-I-N-G. -L -L -I -I There's no S on my name. Um, I, I, you either uh, type it in one word on social media or uh, or Leo Gilling separate. Okay. All right. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye now.